Come on in. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? <laughs> the meeting. So I'm not used to seeing uh, the uh, dinettes being so narrow. So it's actually one of the things I had to do to be uh, more accommodating for the dogs in the RV. It actually used to extend about 14 to 16 inches further. Okay. So I ended up cutting them and and we reupholstered the cushions and everything. Who did, so the, who did the who uh, did the Stephanie? Did. Oh, cool. Yeah, she's the crafty one. Um, she was able to reupholster these and then add the same fabric to our valances. Oh, right here, the valances are the yeah, same as well. Same exact fabric. Cool. It's actually the, the blinds that wrap around the windshield is what the cushions used to look like. That's the actually only original stuff in here. Oh, okay, just like a plastic sort yeah. of. And the carpets that were in here matched that as well. Oh. Wow, <laughs> big difference. So what happened with the floor then if it was carpet? Uh, we x nade carpet and put in the flooring as well. Oh, cool. It's just really easy, Home Depot, sticky. Yeah, I mean, I have the front entry here. What my plans are to do is I have Can I open it? Yeah, it's just dog food and that sort of thing. That's a dog Perfect, more storage, right? Yeah. I got a big tote in there. That's where I put all their dog food in. Cool. It's kind of inconvenient right now, but it's a process. <laughs> yeah, tried to find the right things, right? Um, kitchen sink. Actually, these are new. Faucets as well that I put in. Oh, cool. And real, real house faucets, yeah. too. And, uh, brushed. Brushed nickel. Same faucet colors and everything. So this is the bathroom okay. area. You can completely separate it off if you wanted by running the track system both here and okay. here. So we have okay. a big bathroom. Um, a big old shower. That's a good size shower. It looks like storage right now. Yeah, let's be, we don't use it when we're uh, in the RV park. We have a shower that we don't have to clean. I think every RVer uses their shower as <laughs> <laughs> storage. It's a trash place in storage right now. Now Stephanie's Dutch, so we added like the Dutch tiles to our shower. Oh. Simple things that you do to make your RV your home. That's pretty cool. <laughs> right on. We do have a composting toilet. Oh, it was awesome. Tell me about it. It is the Nature's Head composting toilet. It's probably one of the cheaper, uh, super efficient composting toilets that are out on the market. Does uh, it smell? Uh, no, not at all. It's probably the most common question that people ask me about um, the toilet is the smell. But it's on about three weeks worth of use, so you tell me if it smells. <laughs> I don't smell anything. Do you smell anything? I don't. Nothing? Nothing. She's got a sensitive nose, too. That's my dream for this meeting, huh? <laughs> As well. <laughs> it's, I think it's, I think the concept is that black tanks are nastier than compost. Oh, yes. No, I agree 100%. <laughs> and that's uh, after years of renting RVs and uh, use of family members' RVs, I realized that that wasn't something I wanted to have to deal with. So that was the next best option. Now it was a lot of work to get it to put, or to get it to fit in here. Uh, pretty much remodeled my bathroom. But <laughs> it works out. Hey, it worked, right? Yeah, I mean, so what did you do to it to be able to get it in there? Um, that was, was a, a platform that came up to about here that the RV style toilet, which was a shallow base toilet, sat yeah. on top of. I tore that out, rerouted some plumbing, capped off my black tank, and then rerouted a heating vent. And then on this side over here, in order to run exhaust for the composting toilet itself, I ran a uh, two inch PVC pipe down into the side, out this way, and then down into one of my storage compartments underneath where I vented it out underneath okay. the RV. Um, at the same time, I still had to run a 12 volt line. Um, it could either be run to the battery or they had a 120 adapter. So. I just spliced the 120 adapter to make it longer. Okay. And I ran it to a plug that's inside a storage compartment okay. right here. So it's cool. just running from there down the wall and then underneath and coming out. Cool. And that's what powers the little 12 volt compu computer fan that's inside there. Awesome. But yeah, we like it. The It was kind of a, I had to adapt to it when we first moved in here. Um, Stephanie, was 
you know, kind of on the fence as to whether we liked it at first or not, and I was kind of too, but I think uh, being almost a year now that we've used it, we're happy customers. Um, it's an investment too, so if anyone has ever wanted to get into it, you have to be prepared for the investment. You really have to put yourself 100% into the idea that you want a composting toilet. Otherwise, spending close to $1,100 is not for everybody if you're buying a toilet. What did you spend in total getting it? the RV ready to have it and purchasing the toilet? Um, I mean, material-wise, it didn't cost me too much more. Maybe an additional $30. Oh, okay. Um, just for uh, eight foot maybe piece of two inch PVC and just some couplings and 90s, but not too much there. It was time consuming. It took me a couple days to prep the RV. Okay. Um, also, upon you know reconstruction of an already based RV, you don't know what challenges you're going to hit once you start tearing stuff apart. Right. So, you know, that was configuration of pipes and that sort of thing were an issue at first and I had to YouTube other people's videos to figure out, but <laughs> it all worked out. Um, thanks to the power of ingenuity and other people's videos. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> My father came over and helped me for a little bit too. Stephanie did a lot of work as well. Cool. So this is where the magic happens. <laughs> so they say um, that that's sleep. Yeah, sleep, sleep is the magic. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have a queen size. This is like a Tempur-Pedic foam mattress too. Nice. So it's really nice. That wasn't the one that was in here, believe me. Yeah. <laughs> the one that we had in here when we bought the coach was about that thick of a spring mattress. Uh, and when you laid down on it, you just hit the plywood. <laughs> <laughs> so there was definitely no magic happening. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, there is a window behind here. Stephanie and I, we built this headboard okay. to cover that window, Very cool. block the light, and kind of make this room feel a little bit more like a, a house, I guess. Right. It's really totally. easy. It's just three-quarter plywood with a, uh, I don't know how thick of a backing of like thin foam, and then just stapled the tapestry over it. Nice. Stephanie did the curtains and the blinds as well with the additional fabric that we had. Nice. But yeah, this pimped is out your ride, man. Yeah, so you gotta make it into your home when you're a full timer. Yeah, you have to do everything. And then obviously the big side over here, like this big huge closet, that's Stephanie's. <laughs> hers <laughs> and hers, mine and hers, right? No, oh, no, for real, no, you actually this got is my closet, but in the oh. back side here, this is her stuff. So <laughs> yeah. it has overflowed. Now, if you look in here, you can see that cord that okay. runs my fan, and then it comes up into here. This is kind of messy, but there's. I don't have a light, but there's yeah. a 120 plug back there, and that's what uh. Okay. Plug it into. Cool. I spend most of my time right here <laughs> and, <laughs> in front of the TV. <laughs> and there and in front of the TV, huh? <laughs> cool. Oh, and two true MTV crib style, you gotta do the fridge. Fridge, oh yeah, so, man. Uh, not a lot of food, enough to get me by at Amazon. And I gotta throw a shout out to Brothers Barbecue because that's what provides my lunch every day. <laughs> The lady works there and we get a lot of free food. Awesome. So it's a beautiful thing. Man, look, he's, he's got V8 splash going on there. Is that kind of like Kool Aid? No. <laughs> I think it's healthier than Kool Aid. <laughs> but it's, this is the best one, too, the island strawberry. Awesome. That's that gangsta. It's straight thug. But when you drink it, it's too strong for me. I gotta add like. You gotta dilute it down. <laughs> hey, makes it last longer. Cheap person in me too. I just want to make my juice last longer. Go longer. <laughs> cool. Well, thanks for coming and checking out my house, my ride on wheels. <laughs> Your crib on wheels. <laughs> so I'm all decked out for Christmas too. This was a surprise, actually. Yeah, guys, it's all festive. He actually found a Christmas tree. Real Christmas tree this size that could be in the RV. That's pretty cool. I think it was on uh, Wednesday. I came home from work and she had done this. Awesome. She found that tree at Kroger's. Oh, really? 
Awesome. I kept ours, you know, after my garage sale. I did get rid <laughs> of my one. Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> we have in storage. Yeah. I figure I can store a little bit of ornaments. Like, I don't want to store a tree. So right. If I can find a real tree, I'd have done that little crappy Charlie Brown tree. <laughs> <laughs> or I'd gone to Home Depot and got some clippings and just brought them in here, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm, uh, I'm going to have a beer or something and. I like to drink a little. So get the hell out of my house. <laughs> <laughs>